Hello folks, I am the Ghost with Knife, and welcome to, most likely, the finale of Mega Man X3. We've defeated all the Mavericks, we beat all of Doppler's goons, and then he shot me with a laser beam. The last little bit that we have to deal with in Mega Man X3, it's a laser door. I think that's literally like the last thing though. Like there's nothing else past this point. You gotta have that last say, don't you, Doppler? I've been waiting for you, X. I'm Doppler Doppler. I've been watching your battles closely. Your victories over my men have been most impressive. None of them were girls? Zero out of ten. This game isn't good. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I need superior reproids like yourself, X. I have you the chance to join us. Together, we shall build a utopia where the reproids rule under the watchful eyes of... Really, Doppler? You're working for Sigma. That's right, folks! The twist no one saw coming! It's Sigma! Every time it's Sigma, no matter what Mega Man X game you're playing, Sigma will always be there! Why? Cause hate- cause we hate you! And Sigma's always the bad guy. So much like in the Mega Man games, just assume it's Sigma. In some dumb way, shape, or form. It's always Sigma. That's the secret. Sigma's behind literally everything. He's like the reverse Flash, except not nearly as cool, or obsessive, or powerful. <laughs> Under the watchful eyes of Sigma, you know, that guy that you hate. I can totally convince you to work with him. Our Lord and Master. <laughs> no, wait, Doc, this is stupid. Your schemes end here and now. Why would I fight? Why would I work with a bad guy for the past two games? Perhaps you're not as smart as I once thought. Prepare to be ripped apart and be born again as part of the new body of Sigma. Whoa, Doc! Doc's kind of buff! That's right, Dr. Doppler? It, uh, um, could you not say we did? What? Is this not his weakness? Uh. <coughs> Give me a second. Now, I'm not looking up his weakness because this fight is hard. I'm looking up his weakness just out of genuine curiosity. I thought it was Ray Splasher. Cause like every boss is weak to Ray Splasher for some stupid reason in this game. So the trash boss from Doppler 1 is called Press Disposer. Um, the, the, the jellyfish boss that we didn't fight is called Volt Kuregel? Doppler is weak to ACID BURST! Yeah! That's right, Toxic Seahorse's Revenge, son. The, uh, 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 did, uh, did anyone also want to, like, run that by me? HE HEALS?! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The last boss of this game has a healing mechanic. So I'm gonna show you, because this is not a hard fight, even with his weakness. I'm gonna show you how this works. So if you hit him while that green stuff is out, it's uh, it's basically a damage condenser. So the only time you can really hurt this boss is when he's attacking you or he's got his big orange shield. Otherwise, so right now, even though I completely missed. So yeah, he does these little ball attacks, 
and then he comes at you with this attack. But the main gimmick of Dr. Doppler is this. He is the damage condenser itself. So if you shoot him, he activates his damage condenser and then tries to heal off of your attacks. Which, if you don't know this, can make this fight very long. But the secret is just to attack him while he's attacking you. Because otherwise he heals like that. And while I don't think Doppler Doppler is a hard fight, I do really like him. We're gonna hold on to this. And then shoot him with it. So yeah, much like a lot of other bosses in the game, Doppler takes a lot of damage to kill. But it's not a hard fight. I will say, like, this boss music, though, is one of my favorites in the entire franchise. It's really good boss music, and I just completely missed. But yeah, this damage condenser attack of his is, uh... It's another very unique mechanic to this game. So I'm, I'm just kind of, like, taking this very relaxed, because this boss is, uh... is not the final boss, as we've discovered. Like always, it's Sigma! And this is the part of the playthrough that I can just kind of relax. Because I know this fight. I know how to do it. I'm not concerned about dying. Doppler's a very hard boss to die to. Now, if you beat him here, fun fact, if Zero dies, you actually get an alternate ending. So, keep that in mind. Doppler. You are strong, X. Strong enough to defeat Sigma. Ouch. Oh, crap. Doppler? Can you talk? Yeah, Sigma's true form is that of a computer virus. I was corrupted by him and, oh, I did some bad things. I created a horrific new body for him. Morty, Morty, I made a body for Sigma, you gotta help me. Oh God, Morty, it was bad. <laughs> I don't know why he reminds me of like, <laughs> Why, I don't know why he reminds me of Rick, but he apparently does now. Where's the body now? Morty! Morty, it's in the underground hangar of this lab. Morty, I gotta stop him. Ah, Morty. <laughs> Morty! Oh, crap. Morty, give me a beer. I'm gonna need some beer for this. Morty, help me. It's in the, it's in the lab. It's, it's down below. I don't think Sigma's occupied it yet. You can beat him, Morty. I believe in you. Power of friendship and stuff. Don't worry about me. Destroy the body before it's too late. Time is running out. N Morty, you gotta go. Thanks, Doc. Go, Morty, you little brat. But yeah, you don't kill Doppler in this fight. So, uh... There is a secret ending to this game. I will not be getting it in this playthrough. Because it means I have to fight this last boss more than once. And, uh... I'm not doing that. <laughs> Flat out, I'm not doing it. I, uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm not excited about this. This is the part of the game that I've been literally stalling. But uh, I'll tell you when we get there. But keep in mind that Dr. Doppler is not dead. So, one second, folks. All right, folks, this is it. The grand finale to Mega Man X3. Uh, oh, oh, that's a uh, that's Sigma body, all right. And if if you look at the back, that's a that's a lot of bodies. Did Doctor Doppler accidentally? I I forgot there were enemies here. I I don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I, Jesus Christ. So, what am I doing? I can just heal in front of the door. I'll go ahead and 
destroy the power generator. Thanks, Zero. Hex, you go upstairs and destroy Sigma's body. It, it's right there. Zero, it's back. It's it's right there. So it's no zero. It it's. Oh, there is more than one body. <laughs> I don't think they thought that through. I'm just trying to get to the part where. I'm gonna heal a little bit because I don't remember exactly where the boss interaction happens. But yeah, it's Sigma. Yeah, again. I'm just rereading certain things before we get to the uh, to the end. Yeah. Oh. So uh, Vile's Goliath armor is weak to tornado fang. In case you didn't know that. I was double checking to make sure that I, I had the correct like weakness for the stage one. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the hardest boss in the game. Everything we've done until now is nothing compared to this. This is going to be hell. <laughs> we meet again, X. <laughs> Welcome to die. It was easy to corrupt that fool Doppler. And I would have succeeded if you hadn't interfered. But we are always destined to meet. Aren't we, X? <laughs> Let the eternal struggle begin! Here we go. Legitimately one of my least favorite Sigma fights. This this Sigma is annoying, because all he does is shoot these fireballs. I have lost so much health here in stage one. I I think I think I I think I lose. Yeah. So I, I'm letting him kind of beat me up there. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you s- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Why would you do that? We're gonna heal back up real quick. Why? Why would you put all those enemies in front of it? I don't understand. Anyways... Yeah... This Sigma fight's not fun. I'm just not used to the pattern. We're gonna be here for a while, because... Although this looks hard, it's not. This isn't the part that I, that I don't like. ETERNAL STRUGGLE X! I'm Captain America! Look at me! Trying to, uh, to do this the appropriate way. It's just very hard because I'm using Mega Man X3 armor, which is awful. Oh my god. Oh yeah, his shield does block you, right. I just... I hate this boss. I'm... I'm gonna... I'm trying to remember how to fight this boss safely, and it's not working. I think this is the right pattern here. Where you just, like, use the walls against him. Because, like, once we get to this last stage, we're, we're in it for the long haul. Because much like every other Sigma fight, there is two stages to it. Trying to get to that pattern where I where I can get some relative safety.
Wow. Wow. We're not even at the hard part. That's the sad thing. We're not even... This is going to legitimately take a while, folks. I just... I... I... Man, this boss is dumb. I hate this boss. I, I legitimately hate this boss. God. We're not even at the bad part. We're not even at the bad part. Ugh. Okay. Sorry if I clam up here and stop talking. I'm trying very hard to focus. This boss requires a lot of concentration. And it's not because this stage is particularly hard. I know there's tricks to beating it. I'm just trying so hard to conserve health. Because I know what comes next. I think this is the safest way to fight him. Much like Chill Penguin, just don't miss your shots. You really can't afford to miss your shots against this boss. This is one boss we really can't afford to miss our shots. Or have him shield against them. Because once we're out of Spinning Blades, this fight gets a lot harder. As my Spinning Blade just cancels itself out. That's because I shot the wrong way. I'm panicking. Okay. I'm trying really hard to focus. This is this is gonna take a lot of effort and time. This boss is legitimately one of the hardest bosses in the entire X franchise. He shoots it out of the sky, really? Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got so help! Basically, wait till he jumps. I'm dead. Wow. 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 Wow! This boss just summarizes everything wrong with this game. He does too much damage. He's essentially got armor against your attacks. He's got a dumb pattern. Actually, we're not even at the hard part. That's, that's what really bothers me. We're not even at the hard part. We're not even at the hard part. I need to be on point with that. I need to not make that mistake. So yeah, his shield blocks your attacks. And he's got a fireball launcher. Because he took a page out of X's book. Got himself a buster. I don't know when he decides to use that shield, but that shield is, uh, is problematic, to say the least. But yeah, much like Doppler, much like Tiger, he just has a phase of the fight where you just can't damage him, and it's very annoying. And I missed my shot again. I think what happened last time when I died on game over, I just was being impatient. I want this boss to die. And you gotta be patient with this. This You really do. Much like the rest of Mega Man X3, it's gonna take way too much time to beat this boss. She 
shield toss. Okay, it's the small one. Just trying to look out for that one double area. I just did not double dash there. I didn't double dash. I don't know why I didn't. That's the shield attack I don't want to deal with. Um, don't let this get to me. Okay. Okay, folks, this is it. This is this is it. This is it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this again. This boss is only weak to the X Buster. And in order to make sure I have my charge shot often, I'm going to use the Hyper Crush. This is regarded as one of the hardest Sigma fights in the entire franchise. There is a very specific area you have to shoot this boss at to hurt him. It makes this boss incredibly challenging because he can do so much damage. This is the part of the game I didn't want to play the most. This is it. If we do this, it's over. Kind of. We'll get there. Well done, Hex. But I'm far stronger than my previous forms. Behold the power of the ultimate battle body! Kaiser Sigma. This Sigma is incredibly hard. And I'm... I... I have to... Shit, 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 I'm botching this. I need to... God, I really wish I didn't have that stupid charge shot. So as you can see, we're not damaging him. Because there's a very specific area you have to hit on his body to hurt him. And I can't remember where it is at all. Oh, right, you've got to go above the boosters, right. I've lost so much health already. So as you can see, this boss does an absurd amount of damage. I'm already out of Hyper Crush, wow. This boss is so fucking hard, man. Oh, this boss is so hard. You have to hit him in a very specific spot in order to uh, to damage him. That's the big problem with this boss. And he's always shooting these attacks at you too, which makes it even harder. Oh my god, they do so much damage does so much damage. It's what makes this fight so fucking hard. No! I'm gonna lose this fight. I've lost this round, I think. I think I've lost this round. This boss really is that friggin' hard, just for the record. He really is this hard. Like, I'm not goofing about. You have to hit him in such a specific spot, and it makes it so nightmarishly hard. Because, again, he does so much damage. <sighs> Thankfully, when he shoots up like that, he does get rid of his projectiles, which is a nice, like, trick. I'm doing really good on health. So you gotta shoot right above the uh, the second part of where that gold thing is to uh, to damage this. But no, no, oh god! 
Oh, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. So, I don't want to say we're going to beat this boss. I really don't, but it looks pretty promising, which is good. This is such a hard fight, because as you can see, he just does so much damage. The main reason you win this is attrition, mostly. It's just having more health than him. And I think, I don't want to jinx it, we did it! Oh my god, I've beaten this boss like four times, that's why I've got the experience, but he's legitimately one of the hardest fights in this entire game. You have to shoot above that thing, otherwise you don't do any damage to him. His rockets do a crap load of damage. Oh my god, I know the first stage looked worse because I died more, but I've had so much practice against that boss. It looks easy, it's not. It really isn't. That is just practice and memory and muscle memory. Memorizing where to hit him, memorizing where to shoot, memorizing what he does. Those missiles, those constant projectiles, the laser, he does a ridiculous amount of damage. It takes almost none. But it's not over. No! It can't be! I can't even defeat you with this magnificent body! There seems to be only one choice now. I'll possess you! What? Excuse um... Excuse me? Oh! We need to be on point. I'm dead. I'm legitimately dead. I'm dead. Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait! I'm not dead because I had enough HP! Oh my god! Oh my god, I cheesed it! Before we get to this. So the way that works is that you're supposed to use the new air dash up to get over those walls, avoid the lava, and avoid Sigma himself. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. Normally, you're at, a no, you're at a low enough health pool that you can't survive that. But because I've got the golden ship and I had basically full health, I cheesed it. That's not how it's supposed to go. Normally, what happens is you beat him with like two HP left, the lava kills you and you've got to fight the entire fight over again. And I do mean the entire fight. If you die in that last section, you have to refight Kaiser Sigma. And I know that I beat him first try, but that is legitimately one of the hardest fights in the entire franchise. The only reason I beat him first try is because I had all my sub tanks and I have that much muscle memory. And I've just memorized that boss that much. Before we go any further, because this is the end of the game. The missiles do a lot of damage. The projectiles do a lot of damage. The laser is absurdly scary. Everything about that boss is already hard. But then you have the fact that much like Wolf Sigma, you can only hit him in a certain area. And as you saw when I was starting the fight, it is deceptive where that area is. Because the boosters actually protect him. You have to shoot over his head with a charge shot to get him. And it makes it very, very, very tricky. But we did it. Oh my god, it's over. Let's, let's end this. Darn! It's a dead end! <laughs> Give up, X! I'll possess your body and rule the whole world! Will you? It's you! I can How do you like that, Sigma? I picked up an anti-Sigma virus program from Doppler! Uh, 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 what? <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on! Wait a minute, pause, time out! You're telling me Dr. Doppler could make an anti-Sigma virus program like that just on a jiffy, just on a snap? 
He was possessed by him the entire game for the story, and now he's just like, ah, well, I've been possessed once. I know how to fix the cure now. Can he just, like... <laughs> can he just solve the Sigma virus with this? If he can make an anti-Sigma virus program? Couldn't we just, you know, give, make him do that to every Reploid? <laughs> as, much as, as much as I hate this game, I think this is the biggest plot hole for me right here. Th this, this right here, this ending, completely just is the biggest plot hole in the entire franchise. Because unless you get the other ending, Doppler doesn't die. And this is canonically the ending that works for the entire franchise. That's right, Doppler's alive and he can make an anti-Sigma virus program in like five minutes apparently. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get how, if he can do that, how the, the Sigma virus is a problem anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, before we go any further, my canonical ending is the other one. If Zero dies at all when you play as him, he, he's just out of the game for good. So, if you beat Doppler to get to this point without Zero, Doppler comes in and saves you with his program that he whipped up on a dime and he dies in the process So for the sake of the canon Zero was disabled during these fights and Doppler dies because otherwise Doppler could just make this program for literally everybody and it's the biggest plot hole in the entire series and until recently I thought this was the only ending of the game so I was just like, how? So I was furious for the longest time. Because I thought that just Doppler lived and he could have made the virus. And he was just like, ah, I don't feel like I need to anymore. But yes, in the alternate ending of Zero to Dies at all in this game, Doppler is here on the end. He gets this cool little music for the boss fight. And he saves X from the Sigma virus. Anyways, let's continue, shall we? I picked up an anti-Sigma virus program and used it on my beam saber! <laughs> Sorry about the delay, X! <laughs> I was getting coffee! <laughs> I thought the program might be the only thing that would work against Sigma. And wouldn't you know it, it is! <laughs> what a really lucky plot hole, right? <laughs> my program's disappearing! But, someday, I will... So Sigma Virus is destroyed, for now at least, because there is a X4 through 8, but yes, 0 and X escape, and I'm assuming since this is the good ending, the Doppler also escapes, because Doppler was being manipulated by Sigma the entire time. So Doppler wasn't a bad guy, it's Sigma being a bad guy. And for some reason, Sigma decided after he possessed Doppler to bring back Vile. You know, the dude who failed to kill X. <laughs> but yeah, when you beat the game with Zero Alive, you get him and the little ending with you. Otherwise, he's not here. And Doppler saves your life. X has crushed Sigma's plan once again. But many questions still occupy his mind. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> For me personally, other than why isn't this game over? Why must humans fight against Reploids? And why must Reploids fight against each other? That's one thing I like about X as the series goes on. He just becomes more and more against violence. As X stares at the burning remnants of Doppler's lab, his body trembles from an unknown sorrow. So what does fate have in store for me, he wonders. Ah, oh, man, what a, what a game. It's over, thank goodness. He can only hope that someday Dr. Light's plan for him will finally be revealed. Well, technically, it's the, the series was supposed to end in two games, but it didn't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Unknown to X, his destiny has already been decided. To save mankind, he must destroy Zero? But only time will tell 
when, and why. What? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where my Mega Man X3 in credits audio is going to stop. I wanted to give my thoughts on this game another go because I've had some ideas since I originally recorded this that I wanted to, to go over with you guys on how, what this game could have done differently, what I liked about it, and, and the things that really frustrated me about it. So yeah, let's talk about that cliffhanger ending telling us that we're going to have to destroy Zero at one point. What a way to get you hooked and excited for the next game. Which, by the way, the next game is my favorite in the franchise. And one of my favorite parts of playing Mega Man X3 is normally I play them all in order. So playing Mega Man X3 means the next game is X4, and that is my absolute favorite in this series. So that's one good thing we got going for us. Um... Let's talk about the good. Let's talk about the few things that I like that were good. You know what? Let's talk about the bad first. Because I think it's a lot easier to say. Uh, this game is way too long. There's way too much filler with how much you have to go backtrack and pick up items. The bosses take way too long to kill most of the time. And the stages... Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the stages, quite frankly, are just too long in my opinion. There's too much in this game made to just take up time and space. And there's not enough content to it. Because again, there's like four different riot armors you could use, and there's no real reason to use them. There's no other, The only reason you want to grab them is so you can get the golden ship and beat the game. <laughs> which is Which is absurd. Which, by the way, I love how they brought back an actual, like, secret in this game of, Oh, there's no way you could have known this secret unless you just fell down this hole for no reason with full health. Ha ha ha. But yeah, um, the mu some of the stages are really forgettable. Uh, the music isn't the most memorable in the series. Matter of fact, Mega Man X3's music is probably my least favorite music in the entire franchise. Uh, some of these bosses are just, are just unbearable. Especially Buster only. Uh, Volt Catfish, Blast Hornet, Neon Tiger are the three big offenders, in my opinion, of this game without their weakness. Because every other boss, yeah, they're hard, but they're not, like, unbearably dumb. Blast Hornet, Volt Catfish, and uh, Neon Tiger, which you have to be basically without his weakness anyways, is just a nightmare to go through. Even, even, not only after your first time, but, like, not only for your first time, I mean, but after your first time, too. I just, I really dislike those bosses. And to be fair, their stages are really boring, too. Um, so we've gone over a lot of the bad things. Oh, yeah, and Kaiser Sigma. Uh, the only reason I beat him was because of muscle memory. Uh, I've beaten him multiple times. I've spent literally hours on that one fight alone. Uh, my first attempt took almost two hours. Didn't quite make the two-hour mark, so Yellow Devil still took longer, which should speak volumes for this game. Uh, <laughs> the good, though. Let's get into the good bits. There are some really cool Maverick designs, and there are some really cool ideas. Bringing back stage interactions in some way, shape, or form, that was nice. Uh, some of the boss designs are cool. My personal favorites are Gravity Beetle and Toxic Seahorse. Everyone else is either forgettable or just really rough. Um, I love Doppler. I think the Doppler fight and how they did that, being such a unique mechanic, was a lot of fun. Because he's not a hard fight. He is time-consuming. But once you get his gimmick down, you beating him isn't necessarily out of the question. It's just, you know... <laughs> beating him without him gaining too much health because his attacks are really easy to dodge it's just he gains health and that's the big thing about doppler and i do feel like they could have done that fight better but we got what we got but the one thing i want to say which is a blessing and a curse is the vile aspect of this game vile in my opinion is the best part of this game Absolutely 
hundred percent the most exciting thing in this game is everything to do with Vile. Him coming back, his stages, both of his boss fights. Vile is, in my opinion, the the only reason Mega Man X3 excites me. Because th- that, that interaction with the secondary antagonist from the first game, that, that bringing him back was such a genius move. I, I do personally wish they would have done it a little bit later in the series, but bringing him, putting him in this game does give this game a saving grace. But also, th- th- it's a curse because I feel like with Vile in this game, they could have taken a much different direction instead of just being like, Oh, yeah, it's Sigma Virus again. He's back. Oh, boy. Yes, they could have brought back Sigma in the next game. Especially with how he's, he's, uh, his appearance is in that game. It would have made much more sense to have him kind of skip out on this journey, in my opinion. And made the main antagonist vile. And that is my biggest problem with Mega Man X3 I think about. It's such a missed opportunity. Taking the game, the focus off of Sigma just for one game to bring Vile back and make him the center of attention for Mega Man and X. In my opinion, what they should have done is they should have ditched Sigma and they should have made like some sort of story where like Doppler and Vile had some sort of deal where Doppler tried to bring him back and like legitimately try to make him a good person. But Vile was just obsessed with destroying X and his hatred for him. And maybe somehow he takes over Doppler, and that's why the Doppler army goes crazy. But the final boss, in my opinion, should 100% should have been vile. You should have fought him once, beaten him, fought him a second time, and then he gets away. And then for the last fight, it should have been, like, vile inside of the Kaiser body. Because I feel like that would have made so much more sense. Because it's essentially a giant riot armor anyways. So Vile being implanted in that in some way, shape, or form would have been absolutely epic. I just feel like not making Vile the main antagonist of this is such a missed opportunity. I've said it already twice, but that's that's really the one thing that I think really, really would have helped this game. Because Kaiser Sigma is ridiculous. If they would have just made it so where you go Goliath, Vile, and then Kaiser Vile, I think that would have been a fantastic use of the character. And really appropriate, since most of Kaiser Sigma's fight is very, very reminiscent to any time you fight Vile. Lots of projectiles and a riot armor with a giant laser beam to top it off? That would have been phenomenal. However, that's not what we get. Um, overall, I think that Mega Man X3 is not my favorite game, but it's definitely not the worst. There are other games in this series we're going to have to go through that I dislike even more. Um, I kind of flip-flop on which one I dislike more, X3 or X5. Uh, X5 is frustrating for its own reasons, but it's not... But but it, there's also a lot of things that I like about X5. Whereas this game, there's less things I like about it, but the few things I like about it, I like about it a lot. So, there's that. And uh, I will say, I originally intended to just stop at X5 for the series, because X5 is the proper ending for this series, in my opinion. It is where it should have ended canonically. And once we get to that entire story, you'll understand why. But that's that's for the future. For now, Mega Man X3 is over. And while I may have complained a bit about it, we did beat it. And I am very happy that all of you joined me for this adventure and this journey. It really has been just an absolute joy playing this game mostly (laughs) okay not really but it's been fun recording it for you guys for youtube and it's been fun talking about all these things and just discussing one of my favorite franchises with a passion and that's the one thing i want to drive home even though i dislike this game i am passionate about this franchise and the reason i dislike it is because i care and the reason i'm so vocal well that's not (laughs) 
The reason I'm so vocal about disliking this game is because I care. I do love the Mega Man X franchise. I think it's one of my favorite video game franchises. It's one of the most influential games for me as a child. And that's why I get just so into it. One I really care about a franchise, I get just really connected to it, and I, and I try to point out the flaws because I want to be improved. I want the developers to look at it and be like, okay, this is how we can improve it. This is the feedback we need. And overall, that's all I want to give. My feedback and my opinions on it all. I'm rambling at this rate, though. And you know what I'm not gonna, you know what I'm gonna do even more rambling in, actually, but in a more positive effort, is the next game, which I will see all of you lovely folks in. Thank you for watching this Let's Play of Mega Man X3, and I will see all of you in the best game in this franchise, Mega Man X4, next time.